Hey, what's up everybody? So we're in the office today, just kind of chilling in here. Um, this is a video on converting your ZD28 style spade tip glow plugs to the ZD9 round tip style. My 85 F150 needs glow plugs and uh, nobody in the state of Wisconsin I can find has any glow plugs. Not even auto lights, um, and sure as heck not the Motorcraft ones. Um, I need this truck up and moving right now. I can't afford to wait for a week to get the parts in, so I was like, you know what? I got new ZD9s. I'm going to convert the harness. Um, I'm going to do one with you guys, but basically what I did here, if you go out and you buy, that's your part number right there, okay? They're blue, and they're 16 to 14 gauge or whatever. Um, these are round, okay? This fits beautifully on the end of, let me see if I get this on camera here. Um, hard to do. This fits beautifully on the end of the glow plug, okay? It is a super, focus, super nice tight fit. Come on, focus camera. Um, Let's try that once. Oh, I can focus. But yeah, it's a super tight fit. And uh, with a little little piece right there, you grab on and push them back onto the glow plug in the truck. Um, got these at the oil parts store for like six bucks. Um, as you can tell, I've already done all of them, except for, uh, I'm gonna do the last one to show you guys on camera. Um, I had one on here that actually had busted off in there. But these with the old style connectors look like um so i'm converting all my stuff to the zd9 style so i'm going to try and do this to where it goes on camera here so give me let me see if i can get you guys going here. okay i think that'll work so basically all you got to do here is you're going to need a cutters of some kind okay and then also a crimpers and then your blue terminals. All you want to do here is take this here and cut it as close to the base as possible. Okay, snip that guy. Come on, baby. All right. So now you've got this okay you take your your cutters here your wire strippers whatever you want to call them and all you're going to do is strip the wire now some of these don't really have a ton of exposed wire um i like to get enough wire out because these fit super tight on here and then i like to take and then just twist these clockwise to make sure they're wound really tightly together okay now one piece of advice I'll give to you is make sure the, uh, the actual wire right there is up and down nice and straight. So this can go on. It's a very tight fit. But you'll almost not really hear it click. But it'll like slide on and you really feel it bottom out. Okay. So now we got her on there just like so. And uh, now all you got to do is take your... Oh, damn. Oh, that was a mess. Take your crimper here. And just give the old crimper roo. Like so. I do it three different times, three places to make sure it's a good tight fit. And boom, bam, and boom. So, now, all of these are done to where now we can plug in the ZD9 style um, glow plugs. And you don't have to worry about using the old ZD28 or ZD1A um, style plugs, which uh, there is nothing wrong with those plugs. These plugs are, are fine to use. Um, but like I say, being this is the 1985 and the truck is 36 years old, um, I, I literally cannot get any brand of this style plug anywhere um, unless I wait until next week. And... Um, I don't have the kind of time. And I also have 
a spare 73 harness that already has the round connectors on it. The difference though is when the glow plug controller sits on the 73s, this connector is different. The one on the 73 is a 12 prong versus the 8 and has a large for the glow plug controller somewhere like over here. So I couldn't swap it in. And I don't want to take and hack a good harness up. Um, and then I went in my shop and looked for these little guys here and it was a perfect exact fit. So that's a tip for the day. I really hope this helps somebody out. If it does, give me a thumbs up and a like and uh, hopefully subscribe to the channel. And you guys have a great night. We'll talk to you later.